Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and today we are looking at the Soraya Tech Blue Tough 3D Printing Resin. This is for LCD and DLP style 3D printers. So let's go ahead and take a look at this resin. So I've been printing with this resin for about a month now, uh, and I've gone through, I'd say, 500 grams uh so one bottle uh, so half of the one kg they come in two bottles of this stuff and it has been a uh, really fun and a uh, good learning process for me because i got a dlp or, or a uh, lcd based 3d printer just a few weeks ago or about a month and a half ago i used the standard resin it came with some other standard resin and this was my first venture into a tough resin um, now really quickly here let me show you what my slicing settings are like on this um, so i had to adjust the burn in time and the cure time so the burn in time on this is 80 seconds per layer and the curing time ended up being 12 seconds per layer so that's what worked for me. Uh, it might vary a little bit. Again, I have the AlphaWise W10. I know a lot of people have like the Anycubic Photon. Uh, I would assume it would be pretty similar, but at least if nothing else, that'll give you a good starting point. Uh, also, if you want to see a more technical breakdown of this resin, uh, then I would strongly recommend checking out both Phil G as well as CNC Kitchen. They did a really awesome job on, from like an engineer standpoint, what makes this resin unique. I don't have that engineer background, so I can just talk to you uh, from a you know 3D printing enthusiast, um, kind of how it's been. But if you want actual kind of numbers and a breakdown, those guys will be the best probably source. Uh, in this video, I'm really going to show you guys kind of the prints that I was able to get with this and what my experience has been like. However, for those of you guys that do want some of the details, I do have a little bit of the uh, information. So from, from the manufacturer, the tensile strength is 39 megapascals. It has a shore hardness of 85D, Young's modulus of 1500 megapascals, and elongation at break is 25%. So now that we've got out of this that out of the way, uh, this will be again a showcase of some of the prints I've done and just me talking a bit about it. So this resin is definitely stronger than standard resin. I can feel it from just removing the support materials. They've got a little bit more bite to the prints. Um, as far as one of the main questions I get from a lot of people uh, since I've been doing some resin videos over the last month and a half year is how bad is it? How much does the resin smell? And I will say that the Smell and fumes associated with resin 3D printing strongly uh, has to do with the resin you are using. So the Elegoo resin that I have been using for most of my general models has a very low odor. However, this Soriatech Blue has a really, really, really strong odor. Um, it might not be so bad to you. Um, I've been using the resin printer in my one bedroom apartment and basically uh, my girlfriend was fine with the Eligu resin but once I switched over to this she said this is really irritating so I went ahead and moved the printer out to the like storage uh, unit that we have so I've been printing from there which is no big deal in all honesty I think that as a general rule of thumb resin printing should be done in a garage or in a separate room and not in a main room uh, but I just want to let you know again that this resin has been uh, quite smelly compared Compared to the other resins I've been using but that aside it looks beautiful that crystal blue look is really awesome uh, it's really translucent when it comes off of the printer and then once you cure it and give it an isopropyl alcohol bath and UV treat it it gets uh, a lot uh, less green and more of like a light frosty blue uh, I think that if you were to cover it with a clear coat that you could potentially bring out some of that translucency a bit more uh, I did paint two of these I only show one in this video and paint does stick really well to these models so uh, I do think that if you're looking for a mechanical, uh, a resin that you're going to use for something that's mechanical, like a functional part, that this resin is going to be far superior than that of like a standard resin because they are typically very fragile and kind of brittle. Um, however, I even think for things like minis, these could be a better resin because with some of the minis that I've been printing out, um, I'm not necessarily the easiest on them and I've had arms snap off and swords snap off and things like that. Well, this has a... Uh, definitely more of a give and a bit more flex before it reaches the point of breaking. Uh, I believe that the 
uh, out of one of those videos that I had sent you over to, Phil had compared the uh, impact strength of this to Pet G, and PTG had an impact strength of like 16, while this was at 14, and PLA was at 9, so it's definitely higher strength than PLA, and pretty close to that of PTG as far as impact strength goes, which, again, if you're looking for resin 3D printing and you don't want to make minis, which is fine, this is going to be something that's probably closer to, uh, you know, a usable functional part. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will place a link in the description to where you can find out more about this resin as well as check out CNC Kitchens and uh, Phil G's video because I think that they are very, very in-depth and very educational. And that, again, if you want to find out more uh, about the details on this resin, that's a very good place to go. But overall, this been, uh, resin's been great. And I do think that for moving forward, if there ever is a functional part that I need the precision of a resin 3D printer... Um, then I will go ahead and use this resin for that. I've actually got a couple of ideas in my head. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my other videos. I just updated the tiers on Patreon. I've got some really rad stickers coming in. So if you're considering supporting the channel, take a look down below in the descriptions. And if nothing else, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more great videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. And on that note, I am out. Peace, guys.